have a look at what I've got. Had these quite a while. Um, still have them, as you can see. What I'm gonna do is see if they still work. Not sure what I did with them last. I mean, I guess this could also be an unboxing video too. So, uh, while she's here, she can investigate too. Uh, we'll open this up and see, see what is inside. So like I said, I'm not too sure what I did with these last. Oh yeah, she's going to be more interested in the box. Um, we'll just put that there. Uh, she's going to go inside and um, live inside there for a short while. All right, so I'll take this off, put that on top of the box. And take this off and put that on top of the box. Um, I think what I did with these last was just test them out, give them an audio test. And that was about it. So they're pretty much new. But from what I remember, I think one of these has a bit of an issue. And I think one of the issues with this is something to do with the coil scraping. That one seems fine. Ah yeah, it's this one. Scrapage. As you can see, this one's fine. But this one... gets her attention. Right, well anyway, let's see what we can do with them. This speaker right here is the one with the issues, so when we start putting power through it, this is how it sounds. That is how it should sound. I think the entire thing's out of alignment. And I think there's also a couple of crows outside my window. Having a conversation. Now, I'm not going to fix this because I don't have the glues that are required to do that. And two, I can't be bothered. So what I'm going to do is leave this one connected to my computer. I'm going to connect this one to my computer. And I'm going to try to make a tune. This is the left screen. This is the right screen. And this right here, which is a spectrum analyzer. Wow. It's going to go onto a different screen. What else I'm going to need is my keyboard, which is this. Put that there. Right, so this is going to be making all types of noises because of the scrapiness. So what I'll do is I'll put a quick beat together. We'll choose that. Maybe I'll set the tempo to 120 and then I'll do this. And that is this. Add a couple more. That's how it should be. This cone has probably shifted a little bit or uh, maybe it wasn't placed on properly. What I could do is take this plastic off, heat this surround up a little bit, take it off and then replace it. But that's gonna be a bit of a mission because what you need to do is place shims in there just to make sure the voice coil is placed in there properly. But I don't have any shims, so... I mean, I could do it with a tin can, maybe. Is this on properly? Maybe I might just change my mind and do that as a video instead. Actually, all right, let's try to make this... Let's try to fix this. Might as well put FL Studio away for now. Okay, so let's take this plastic off and try to realign this cone. It might be a bit of a mission. I can't really take the tweeters off because they're just going to be dangling, aren't they? The glue's kind of soft, actually. Off. All right, I might even need a hairdryer just to loosen this glue a little bit. Actually, that's coming up. All right, wasn't expecting that. That is actually coming up quite easily. Usually the speakers I buy don't have these issues. 
so I've never had to do anything like this. But I mean, it's fairly straightforward, so we'll see how it goes. Plus, it doesn't really matter because I was going to blow this anyway. And ah, that's it, right? Okay. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm trying to figure this out, but I don't think it's going to work. I made my mind up what I'm going to do. I'm going to disconnect these tweeters. First, I'm going to use this. All right, so now I'll turn it over and stab it in the back. So there should be a screw there, and there is. I'm gonna use another screwdriver, something with a thicker handle. This one should do, and these screws are usually quite long. Wow, that was a lot easier. Now that should make doing this a little easier. And there we have the back of the tweeters. Like I said, that's a pretty long screw. Catch it, bitch! But taking that off should make doing this a little easier. Now I just need some shims. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah. I've got a can of Coke right here. And I'm gonna cut this can after I've drank it. I'm gonna cut strips and put them down there. Let's see if that works. But first, I'm gonna take my time and drink this while watching some videos. All right, I'm about halfway through this, but check this out. Should have really paid closer attention, but um, that right there, He's a fake tweeter. There's no wires attached to it. All right, let's see if this works. Scissors. And this is now going to get chopped. All right, so. Let's try the scissors and chop that there. All right, so these are the bits I'm going to be using. The ones that go straight down. Hopefully I'll be able to use them. All right, so there we have our shims. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah. Now, the other reason I don't think this is gonna work is because the spider right here is still glued in place. I really need to unglue that, but I don't have the tool, so uh, yeah, bit of an issue. All right, so let's try this end. These might be a little too thin, but uh, might as well do it. Got nothing else to do. So this side has more of a gap than that side. And I could even just double them on this side, really. And here we have a bit of a shim fest. So these are all in there now. And now what I've got to do is just glue this uh, surround down and uh, it's not gonna work. Also what I need to do is remove the glue from the edges. All right then, glue time. Let's see how this is gonna work. I'd be surprised if this works, but that's all of that done. While it's still wet, what I'll do is just make sure that's all in, press it down. All right, so now I'm gonna put this on top of it and then put some weight on top of it. Or I could turn it upside down. Let's turn it upside down. All right, that should be good. Now I'll return to that when it's dry, whenever that is. All right, so let's have a look and see how this is now. It's had a good half an hour or more to dry. Take all these out. It does look as though it's spaced a little more evenly now. Wow, no way. I think I fixed it. All right, wasn't expecting that. Um, now, if this hasn't worked, I'm not gonna do it again. So I'm gonna connect everything back to how it was. Put this back onto there like that, turn it upside down. Now to put these back on, do a bit of that and a bit of this. Sorted. Okay, well that went on quicker than expected. Okay, so now we test it. And that there is a fake speaker, remember? So that means on the box, technically it's false advertising. Hang on, let's have a look at the box again. Ah, you see right there, false advertising. All right, so moment of truth. Let's see if this works. Positive, negative. Let's play 20 hertz. Again, that's what I did last time. Might as well do it again. What? Who would have thought I'd have fixed a speaker in, in like today? Not me, not when I woke up. The only thing now is to actually try to make use of this. Now I fixed it, but I'm not gonna be using it. I've got nothing to use it for. Plus I've got better speakers. 
So yeah, I guess I've got these to thank. By the way, they're sharp. Sharp, sharp, remember that. Sharp. Not cut myself. Nearly did. Ah, almost. Just in case you're questioning what I've done and my methods, then there's the other one. And I'll just swap this over. Araika saw. Exactly the same. First time I fixed a speaker in a video and the speaker wasn't even in focus. Anyway, now what do I do? Shall we blow them up? <laughs> 